Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. This here's the Big D of Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Back with another review in the Death Wish franchise. This time around, it's Death Wish 3 from 1985. Charles Bronson returns as Paul Kersey once more. And this time, after he had been banned from New York for so long, he manages to return in this sequel as he plans to pay a visit to this fellow named Charlie, who he was good friends with in the Korean War, which he took part in. Unfortunately, before he could even get there, a group of punks break into his apartment and beat him to death. And now, to make and to make matters worse, Paul gets caught in the act, and is soon under the watchful eye of a detective, who is played by Ed Lauer. And he quickly recognizes him, and well, plans to watch him for what he's doing. But, however, even once he plans to move into Charlie's apartment, he becomes. You guessed it, Mr. Vigilante again. Yeah, that's who um, that detective referred to him as, Mr. Vigilante. Anyway, he's... But once Paul's put into a holding cell with other punks, he encounters the leader of these punks that beat Charlie down. And, and his name is Manny. And believe me, this guy's freaky with his hair doing stuff. Believe me, if you've not seen this, I think you should. I mean, I know the Death Wish sequels got dissed big time. In case you have, have yet to see my Death Wish 2 review, but I could see some I already did. Maybe more. You never can tell. Anyway, Paul's. Going to get back into business as Mr. Vigilante, but not just with guns, but with other traps. Yeah, kind of what we would see in well, our movies, namely Home Alone. But except they'd be more violent, though. <laughs> Let me see. Like, for example, he sets out a, a big piece of a big wooden board. Right in at his bathroom window, and it has like nails and spikes on in case somebody breaks in there. It happens because we see the bloody footprint. <laughs> Another one was when someone tries to break in and gets hit real hard with that thing, kind of hits real quickly, like a mouse trap would. And one woman look at what was stuck in, and it's like, What is that? And, and Paul's like, Teeth? Yeah, I mean, oh wow, you should see that. That's a good part, actually. Even though this is only the second time I've seen this movie, but at least I'm laying down what I know of it. Also, in the movie, I don't know too much about other cast members. The only others I know of are, well, Maria Suris, who of course will go on to play Counselor Deanna Troy on Star Trek The Next Generation is in this, as well as Alex Winters, who of course went on to star with Keanu Reeves in the Bill and Ted movies, which I have heard they're finally going to get back together to do Bill and Ted Face the Music. I hope that will be coming out sometime next year, maybe? I don't know. That just depends if they'll get to working on that. Actually, Winters plays one of the goons in this. Yeah. So anyway, Paul really brings in some vigilante moves to these punks. With not just his traps, but with also all sorts of weapons, including big machine guns, everything. And of course, he was living... In, well, in a party building that had mostly elderly people and such, but they were who were completely terrified of Manny and his gang. 
However, soon when the woman that Paul's in unfortunately dies in a freak car explosion accident, well, he's now under protective custody by that detective. Now he needs to really get even with Manny and his crew, Mel. I'll only give you one spoiler, though, on how he'll take out the main goon, and that's with a rocket launcher. At least I think it's like a rocket launcher. But anyway, that's which that's probably one of the coolest list deaths I've seen in I've seen any of those Death Wish movies so far. But I think it's cool though. Meanwhile though, while Death Wish 3 may not have come with well its predecessor or the first one, it's still alright though. I highly recommend you check it out. I mean all the Death Wish movies are on Prime. You can see any one of those. Two and three are there, just like the original. I said all of them are there. I'd say you should still give it a shot. I mean, even though it's considered to be dissed by critics and what have you, it still serves as real kick-ass action you can ever, than you could ever expect. I mean, Charles Bronson, once again, does a great job as Paul Kersey. I mean, while I don't know much of all the cast, I gotta say, but I gotta say, they're, they're okay. Maybe not quite good, but they're alright, though. Anyway, that'll do it for my Death Wish 3 review. Tomorrow, I'll be reviewing Death Wish for The Crackdown, which was released two years later. Now, this is where the franchise really kind of goes on the downward spiral. Ever seen Death Wish 3? Please feel free to tell me what you thought of it. Uh, what your thoughts are in the comments section. But if you have yet to see it, please, by all means, check it out. Because don't mind what those critics say. This is still getting the call following. I'm pretty sure of it. Anyway. Also, like and subscribe. I see my subscribers are... Lit well, rank is... Well, not ranking, but numbers have gone up a little bit more, so I'm getting close to 100 now. If, if I can get any more subscribers, maybe I can do a Q&A someday. But the deadline's still a ways, though. But for now, until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya!